Painting tree trunks is an old-time method to protect them. Painting tree trunks white serves a number of functions and can protect young trees and saplings from various harm. It's a Sprouted Seeds YouTube channel. Subscribe and let's get started. Reasons why tree trunks are painted white. 1. Protection from sunscald. When a tree's bark is exposed to intense heat and direct sunlight for an extended period of time, it can cause sunburn or sunscald. Because young trees have less foliage to provide shade and thin bark that makes them less resilient to intense sunlight, it usually appears on the stems or trunks of these trees. When older trees lose leaves that were shielding the bark from the sun, or if the tree experiences a drought or other problem that causes it to drop its leaves early, the bark may be harmed. When the sun is at its hottest and most intense, in the midday and afternoon, bark that has been burned by the sun usually splits and cracks on the side facing the sun. This is on the southwest and west side of the tree in the northern hemisphere, and on the northwest and west side of the tree in the southern hemisphere. By reflecting sunlight, the whitewash lowers the chance of sunscald by minimizing bark heating and drastic temperature fluctuations. 2. Pest and Disease Control It is not entirely clear how whitewashing keeps pests away. The light, reflective color is thought to interfere with the visual cues that certain pests naturally seek out. The majority of tree bark has a darker color, and certain pests may target darker colored tree trunks because they are better suited for food, nesting, or shelter. Some of the pests that whitewashing is used for include. Because volatile compounds released from damaged trees attract bark beetles, whitewashing can help mask the scent and reduce the tree's appeal to them. Certain species of aphids are drawn to the dark trunks of trees. When looking for a place to lay their eggs, winter moths are drawn to dark tree trunks. It might be more challenging for caterpillars to climb the whitewashed tree trunk and get to the foliage. Furthermore, it's thought that applying whitewash can prevent, restrict, or slow the spread of some bacterial and fungal illnesses. 3. Protection from frost. Whitewashing can act as a barrier to reduce heat loss and protect the tree bark from frost cracking and other frost damage during cold nights. What materials are used to whitewash tree trunks? Whitewashing tree trunks can be done with a variety of formulations, but it's crucial that they be safe for trees and don't include any hazardous substances that could damage the trees or prevent them from growing. 1. Traditional lime-based whitewash. Water and hydrated lime have been the traditional ingredients of whitewash for centuries. To make a lime-based whitewash, use. Mix hydrated lime 50 grams and zinc sulfate 4 grams into 1 liter water. Or, mix hydrated lime 8 ounces and zinc sulfate 0.65 ounces into 1 gallon water. Then spray or paint on tree surfaces. Zinc sulfate is optional, it's added for its fungicidal properties, which can help prevent or slow down development of fungal diseases. 2. Latex-based whitewash paints. Latex-based formulations, which offer a more uniform appearance and can provide protection against pests, diseases, and environmental stresses, are frequently used in modern tree trunk paints. Use interior white latex paint instead of oil-based or exterior paint, which are all bad for trees. To create a latex paint-based whitewash, combine equal portions in a 1 to 1 ratio. 3. Commercial Whitewash Tree Trunk Paints Tree trunk paints that are sold commercially are made especially to protect trees. Manufacturers may use different commercial formulations, so it's important to pay attention to the directions supplied with the particular product. How to apply whitewash to trees Trees planted less than two years ago should not be whitewashed. Do not whitewash the base of the tree where it flares into the root, as it can impair gas exchange and moisture absorption through the area. Use a brush, spray, or sponge or cloth to apply whitewash while wearing rubber gloves. Apply thin coats of the paint-based formulation so that the tree trunk can breathe. Paint the trunk up to at least 18 inches, or 45 centimeters, above the ground. When to apply whitewash to trees. Paint tree trunks with whitewash in May to early June in the Southern Hemisphere, and November to early December in the Northern Hemisphere, as this timing reduces the chances of injury from the whitewash application. Should the air temperature drop below 10 degrees Celsius, do not apply the whitewash. Every year, reapply.